We're having fun today. We're making a stuffed cheeseburger with bacon, but we're cooking it on a salt block. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is salt block. This is a chunk of salt mined from a salt mine, I guess. Pink Himalayan salt in one block. This is eight inches by eight inches by two inches. If I had a grater, I actually could go sh -sh 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 and like put it on top of a steak or something. But we're gonna cook on it. Yeah, we're gonna cook on it. It's cool. It imparts a beautiful, elegant, salty flavor. We're still gonna salt our food a little bit, our burger, but this and whatever you cook on it benefits from the salt nicely. I've had sushi on this, raw fish laid out on this. It picks up the salts. When you take a bite, it's extra delicious. I've done steaks on these things. Today, our burger, and you're gonna like this. Oh, fish on these things, incredible. In fact, we'll put a link below, won't we? We will. I have to say it to him, I'll have to remind him, but that's okay. So we're here for each other, aren't we lads? Yes. Oh yeah. There you go. But here's the important part. To cook on it, you have to heat it up. You just can't throw it in a super hot oven or on your stove or on the grill and crank the heat because if you do that, it will crack. I have the one we're using today, my backup one, behind me and you can see it's starting to heat. Well, you can't see that. So here's what I've done. I put it on here on low for 15 minutes. It's getting pretty hot now. After 15 minutes, you turn it up to medium, another 15 minutes, and then after that, 15 minutes at high, and then you're ready to cook. But while that continues to heat up, we'll make our garlic mustard aioli, yum. Prep our burger, yum, and then we'll cook. Uh, but while you're here, I mean, there, all comfortable and everything, now's the perfect time to subscribe to our channel if you like us. Hit the notification bell so uh, we come to you with new episodes. You don't have to go looking for us. And we say thank you for all that. Don't we, boys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We really do. We begin with some Japanese mayo. Because. Just straight because. And then a healthy spoonful of Coleman's mustard. Followed up by a few drops of lemon juice. Lovely. A little pinch of kosher salt and pepper. And I promise garlic, so next is garlic. And it looks like that. And we mix. And this is gonna be crazy delicious. Beautiful. This. Oh my God. Oh, get it. Just get some, you need this. Not sponsored. Coleman's English Mustard, delicious. Product of Great Britain by Coleman's of Norwich. It's fabulous. You can buy it already made. I don't have it made and I always keep it like this in case I want to throw it in something dry, like a rub or something like that. This is crazy delicious. Next up, the burger patty itself. And let me show you one of the things that I'm using before I throw it in. Also not sponsored are these sauteed glazed onions. They live in the frozen food section at the store. You might not be able to find them everywhere, but if you can, they're just a wonderful hack because look at how they come. It's like a little cube of amazingly delicious, super rich sauteed glazed onions. So they're frozen. I have one here that I've taken out and is now, look, all gorgeous and melty and sweet and delicious. So we'll put these in here with our seasonings and we'll make a couple patties. Our caramelized sauteed onions will go in first. Pinch of salt and pepper. Not too much, because we're using salt already. And we'll mix with our hand. And when everything's mixed, max, we're gonna make two four ounce patties. So this is a pound. So, we'll cut this guy in relative halfness. Same, not the same. I uh, know that, yeah, it looks perfect, it's really good. All right, great, okay. So out of this guy, we want two. And here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna flatten this guy out to a relative even flatness. That'll look like this. Now, the cheese part. 
and we're using smoked Gouda that looks like this. So I'm gonna break these guys in half and I want them here in the center. I wanna stay away from the edges. I don't really want them to bleed out. Look, sometimes they do and there's almost nothing you can do about it. It still makes for a badass tasting burger, but I would like this just to be like this, all nice and neat. I'm not guaranteeing anything, I'm just saying this is what I want. So, and we've got a nice pile in there. Now we take our other half, we do the same thing. We flatten, we flatten, and then on top this will go like this, and then these burgers, Max, they become one. Sorry, Max and Chance. So we're gonna squeeze up the edge as well. Try and get it even. We want this to cook evenly, you know what I'm saying? I don't want thin little edges and fat in the middle. So when you're comfortable with your work, we put these guys down. And now, uh, Max and Chance, we're gonna do something that I should have done 10 minutes ago. Cook some bacon on the flat top. You know, every so often I'll meet somebody and they'll say, you know, you're kind of scattered stuff. That's just for the camera's benefit, isn't it? And I go, uh, yeah, it's just for the camera's benefit. I'm not really as stupid as I look. I'm as stupid as I look. It all works out, but I'm as stupid as I look. Let's cook the bacon. And we're down. I only need about three or four pieces, but hey, might as well make a couple extras because we like bacon, don't we, boys? And nobody will say no to a bite or two of bacon. That's on American. And now as the bacon cooks gently, slowly, and lovingly on the Evo, we'll just wait for it to be ready. At the halfway point, we'll flip it, and then we'll start cooking our burger. All right, so let's flip our friends. Lovely. Lovely. Don't we say that every time? Lovely. Lovely. Lovely, 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 and guess what this one is? Oh, it's lovely too. What a surprise. All right, let's get to the burger, lads. Actually, let's wait. There's too much smoke and grease coming off. We'll let this finish and then we'll get to the burger. But I have an idea. You know I'm gonna wanna toast the bun and I often put butter on it, but why butter when I've got all this grease? So just down here where the grease is collecting, I'll get some on my brush and here, and I'll brush it on the buns, and we'll just let it sit. And when I go to toast these after, they will benefit oh so nicely from this grease. And now the bacon's ready. Let's get it off. Right here, some paper towels. Now the burger. And the burger goes on, nice. Normally I would give a burger a little oil before I put it on the grill or the flat top. Well, I use more of the bacon grease because it's here. And why wouldn't you? There you go. So now we're just cooking a burger. You want this? Beautiful. Let it take its time. The salt will benefit and everything will be glorious. That's fucking thick ass, man. Okay, I'm super excited about something. Over the moon excited about my newest cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy, Recipes with Intentional Leftovers. Okay, look, this is coming out in November. It's now available for pre-order. So if you pre-order it, you'll get it November 10th. At least that's what they tell me. Who knows, given the current state of deliveries of Amazon, the mail and all that stuff. But still, this is it. My fourth book, my favorite book, honestly, my best book. 100 recipes, I think there's 100 photos in this, but we're not just teaching how to cook a single recipe. We're giving you 19 master recipes and then showing you four or five things to make with each of them. So you don't have to eat the same thing all the time. Isn't that great? Make a steak today. And then, well, instead of eating it like steak every day, here's four or five things you can turn it into. I show you how to make a great brisket. Uh, brisket's an important thing to know, but then how to make amazing brisket spicy cheese fries. Wait, but then maybe the world's best brisket grilled cheese sandwich. And then, wait, and then brisket empanadas. Look, this is a must for anybody that lives. <laughs> okay, it's a little, a little over the top.
but I'm super excited about it. It's great. It's heavy. It's almost two pounds, and I don't know why that's meaningful to me, but it is. And this took a bunch of time to write, so I'm not effing around here. This, I poured all of me into this. Okay, well, a certain amount, okay, a lot of me certainly went into this. Anyway, uh, click the link below and uh, you'll find this. I think you're going to like it. No, I think you're going to love it. One more important point. I was looking at how the book was doing on Amazon. As people buy it, it gets ranked. But on the page, you know, when you go look at Amazon, it says other people have bought these things. Well, here's one of the things that I found. The if fat means flavor, then I'm fucking delicious t-shirt. But guess what? That's not ours. You know what's missing from this? The name Sam the Cooking Guy that goes across the bottom. Oops, Wait, sorry. Fuck people. Fucking scammers. You know what's missing? The Sam the Cooking Guy that goes across the bottom of this. Somebody is effing ripping us off. Don't buy this shit, ladies and gentlemen. Don't. We don't care if you buy any of our merchandise. Okay, not true, we do. But if you don't want it, that's great. But don't get sucked in and buy somebody else's crap. They're just making money off of our hard work and we don't like that. Bastards, they're bastards. But you know who's not a bastard? Me, with this. And here's our guy after about uh, four minutes. So let's, let's give him a flip. Loosen him gently. Oh. Yay. And ah, beautiful. Mother effer. We got trouble right here in River City. You fucked it all up. Oy vey. Oh, fucking hell. I can't fix that. God damn it. Burgers ready? Off we go. And here we go. Beautiful, perfect looking bun. Oh, jeez. So don't care bad. Oh, it's bad. All right, so forget the mess. This is perfect. And now some beautiful greenery. I don't often do that, but I saw it in the store and I wanted it really badly. Some gorgeous heirloom tomato, about as fresh as they come. And now the start of the show. On we go. Ow, ow, ow. A little more sauce on the top bun. Just a little, not too much. You don't want Max to get his mind blown. And on we go. What happened? I fucking forgot the bacon. This is the shit that I hate about myself. And I don't know what the problem is. It was out of sight. God damn it. You definitely got problems. On we go. All right, now it's just time to cut and see how we did. Even though I forgot the bacon, we added it. Ah, damn it. Let's just cut this thing and go for it, shall we? Here we go. You come with me. There we go. That's our friend right there. And here was the goal. The goal was juicy, cheesy, bacony, deliciousy. Wow. That's gonna be good, huh? Sometimes you just want a good ass burger. And I think what this is gonna be is that. <laughs> you said Asperger. <laughs> mm. I'll tell you something. The salt block adds this 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 little extra kick of just gorgeous flavor. The cheese inside. Oh man. Okay. You got to do this, even if you don't have the block. Even if you just have a grill or a cast iron pan, make it. And this mustard garlic aioli is the shit. It is so good. All right. You're there. We're here. Thanks for hanging with us. We'll see ya. Will we see ya? Are we going to see you guys again? I think so. Uh, if they subscribe. If you ever tell them to subscribe. I've already done that in this episode. You're right. You can only do it one time. I don't want to. Max wants me to tell you to subscribe. I don't want to bug you about that. I figure I already said it once. It's enough. Uh, thanks. Hey, go order the book. See ya.